Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to uh, start with the drag and drop side builder, the HTML5 builder. And what we're going to do first is a really simple website. So we're just going to click on new sites because we don't have a site yet. New sites. And right now you're going to see there's a lot of templates. These are pre-done websites almost. Um, you own, All you have to do is just edit the text perhaps change a few video or change a few pictures add a video or change the video and you're good to go um, you can offer really really high margin services to companies in your area just by selling them a website editing it managing it and uh, let them pay for it and pay for the hosting and the service and building the email list and you creating all the things in between. Now, if you just want to build your own website, this is perfect as well, because you can just select something you like. And uh, you can see, as I, I keep scrolling down because there's so many. Right here, you can just select what type of business do you have. Uh, if you're a photographer, if you're in photography, just click that, you're gonna get websites that are made to help photographers that are pre-designed for photographers. Now let's say you are in fashion. These are websites that promote some fashion looks. This gives you basic IDs. You can always start from blank. This is something we're gonna do later in a new module. But in this module, let's just say I am an agency and I want to sell this as a server so I can use Builderall to actually make some money to then start my real company. So a lot of people who are starting up don't have big budgets and using this and learning how to market, learning how to sell is what you need to do in the end for your own business. So I really like this one. Now you can do view. When you click on view, you will get a preview of how the website looks. So we get a look and I say, okay, I like this website. I want to have this as my website. So I'm clicking this away and I say edit. So what you're going to see now is now we're going to load the editor. This takes about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Um, and it will load up a ton of features. This is basically it's opening up its own software program. So in this new version, we have create improvements, track and drop builder. These are the updates that we have now. I've already been working with them on my other program. I'm just gonna read them out to you so you know what's new in this software. Um, in this new version of the editor, we have great improvements in the drag and drop. True story, I've been working with it for the past two weeks already and it's amazing. We have started the new text editor entirely made by the site builders team of developers. This is a huge improvement to any other site builder because they have something that is totally customizable. Uh, it's, it's really, really good. We have created a new palette of elements with hover over effects. I didn't use them yet. We've also launched a new customizable pop-up option. I saw that, I used that, it works really well. Um, I always like to talk about when I make these videos about what works currently in today's environment, July 6, 2017. Um, Pop-ups, not a lot of people appreciate them, so I would not use them. Uh, but of course, you can try it out, see what works. If people do work, uh, if they do work, uh, it can be a good added feature. And the release of the new banner in which banners will now be added to your site with internal elements already configured to make editing your sites even easier. This is such a time saver for uh, people who want to make quick pages, but we're gonna show that in another uh, video. So now we're here, let me show you quickly the interface. This might look really, really uh, stressful with all these stripes. So over here, we have the basic options. On the left side, you get the computer, the tablet, the mobile phone. Here, it's a uh, temporary icon where you can select the editor you wanna use. This is the original one, and this is the one they made themselves. And I think it looks a lot better. So we're gonna click once there, and now it means we selected the editor. This 
is um, hidden elements. So let's say I have the call to action button and I don't want to use it. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna press here, it disappears. But it didn't disappear, I didn't delete it, I just uh, hided it. And that's good because sometimes you might want to show something on your tablet, but not on your iPhone, or on your desktop, but not on your iPhone, or on your iPhone, but not on one of the other two devices. So we go back here, I just click here, and as you see, it's already back in the exact same place. Now here you can say, hey, I don't want it. Let me undo this action. You can also use Control Z or Apple Z. Or you can say, hey, yes, I reversed it, but now I actually wanna go back to where I wanna go. So this is really a nice way to test out and tweak out and see what works best. Here you've got the ruler. The ruler is basically what helps you to align everything in the right position. So now I'm gonna show it, turn it off, and now all the lines are gone. So if I use this, I can just drag and drop and really design it and put it wherever I want, which is of course an amazing feature which is not possible in a responsive builder. So what I wanna do is I just wanna put it here, but now I wanna know if it's aligned. Well, with these rulers, I can make sure that it's aligned. As you can see, it snaps, the, the line gets orange, uh, sorry, purple. And I can say, okay, it's on the right height. And now I wanna make sure it's in line. I wanna have it on this height. And here in this case, they didn't uh, set up something for that. They eyeballed it. But if you wanna set up pictures like this, it's very nice to work with it. I didn't design these lines, but I'm gonna show you my method on how I use it and how I manage to align everything perfectly. So for now, let's put it off because it's way easier to work with it and show it. Here we've got the grid. The grid is basically the lines, the dotted lines you can see right over here, over here, over here, and in the bottom, which you cannot see yet because the site is a long landing page. So I never turn it off, I always leave it on because when I always keep everything in between these two lines, I know it will work on basically every single computer. If I turn it off, I might put something off the screen and then it won't show on the computer of somebody. And in the end, we have to optimize our website to fit with everybody. So I prefer to do it uh, and leave it on. So I know inside which margins I'll have to draw. Then you go here, you get the quick preview. So if you wanna test and see how everything works, you will have to go to the preview mode and you can test and see if your site works uh, correctly. So now let's go back to the editor um, and here you can save it. So let's say I wanna use this website. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say test site. I'm gonna hit save. And right now our website is saved. Voila. So in the next video, I will go and talk about how to, um, yeah, how to create a follow-up page, how to create an opt-in form, and how to uh, basically adjust and customize this page. So see you in the next video.